Hello everyone. Today we will be performing a redox titration. A redox titration is just like acid base titration and today we will use redox indicator which is N phenyl anthranilic acid. The aim of this experiment is to determine the iron present in ferrous ammonium sulfate solution and it will be titrated against potassium dichromate solution. In this experiment we will use the following procedure. First we will prepare a standard solution of ferrous ammonium sulfate n by 30 of known concentration. Second we will titrate this n by 30 solution against potassium dichromate solution and at last we will determine the strength of unknown solution of ferrous ammonium salt by titrating it against a known concentration of aqueous potassium dichromate. The practice required for this experiment are a conical flask, a volumetric flask, measuring cylinders, a beaker, a funnel, pipette and burette. The reagent required are aqueous solution of potassium dichromate, ferrous ammonium sulfate solution of known concentration. Here we have taken N by 30 solution, unknown solution and indicator use which is N phenyl anthranilic acid. To begin the titration, first fill the burette with aqueous potassium dichromate solution and then adjust the level in the burette such that the initial reading is clearly visualized by your eyes. And then we will start the titration by sucking out 10 ml of known solution of mohor salt. We will take 10 ml of mohor salt solution and pipette it out in a conical flask. Then we have to add 10 ml of dilute sulfuric acid in the conical flask. This redox titration required acidic medium and then add few drops of redox indicator that is N phenyl anthranilic acid in the conical flask. Swirl it properly and then add the potassium dichromate solution from the burette drop by drop. For aqueous solution of potassium dichromate, you have to mark the initial reading by the upper meniscus. Mark down the initial reading and then start pouring the solution. Once the green color appeared, this pale green color is due to the presence of chromium 3 positive ion in the solution. and the color will disappear at end point when all the ferrous ion will get converted into ferric ions. Our indicator used here will get oxidized only after the complete consumption of Fe2 positive ions. At the end point, a sharp change in color has been observed and the color has changed from green to purple. We have achieved the end point of this titration. At the starting of this experiment, we have noted down the initial reading. Now, at the end point, the final reading is 19.7 and the initial reading in the burette was 10. We have to repeat this experiment till we get concordant reading. And then with the formula of N1V1 is equals to N2V2, we have to calculate the normality of the aqueous potassium dichromate solution. Now we have to titrate unknown solution of ferrous ammonium sulfate salt by titrating it against a known concentration of aqueous potassium dichromate. To begin the experiment, suck unknown solution of ferrous ammonium sulfate 10 ml by the help of this pipette. The pipette is marked here, graduated here. So you have to suck it till this level only. Then pipette it out in a conical flask, add 10 ml of dilute sulfuric acid, then again add the redox indicator and phenyl anthranilic acid, a few drops, and start adding the aqueous potassium dichromate solution in the conical flask, slowly drop by drop, swirl the solution gently. Potassium dichromate is the oxidizing agent here 
and the reducing agent is ferrous ammonium sulfate. The appearance of green color is due to the reduction of dichromate into chromium 3 positive ion in the presence of acid. To determine the end point, add the solution from the burette drop by drop and the pale green color will change into purple at the end point. We can see that the color has changed from green to purple and the end point for this titration is achieved. For the titration of unknown solution of ferrous ammonium sulfate salt, the initial reading of the burette was 20 ml and the final reading of the burette was 34.8. So the change is 14.8. You have to repeat this experiment to get concordant readings. Now after the completion of this titration, you have to determine the normality of the unknown solution of ferrous ammonium salt by the formula N1V1 is equals to N2V2 and at last determine the strength by the formula normality into equivalent weight of Mohr salt that is ferrous ammonium sulfate solution. Thank you.